Yeah, the study I presented at this meeting uh, is a, an early phase trial of a, of a bispecific antibody called mosunotuzumab. This bispecific antibody is a T cell and B cell engager. It has receptors for CD20 on B cells, CD3 on T cells, and by uh, um, engaging these cells, bringing those cells together, uh, initiates cell mediated, T cell mediated cytotoxicity to B cells and depletes B cells. So the study included 270 patients with relapsed or refractory B cell lymphomas and used this agent to exploit this mechanism of action to treat the malignancies. So these patients um, uh, were a heavily pretreated group of patients in two broad categories, indolent lymphomas and aggressive lymphomas. Um, and uh, most of the aggressive lymphomas were either a large B-cell lymphoma or transformed follicular lymphoma to large cell. And most of the so-called indolent arm lymphoma patients had follicular lymphoma. Kind of a misnomer, indolent, because these were heavily pregenerated patients that weren't responding to their last therapy. And the inclusion criteria were such that uh, these were patients that didn't have standard um, uh, therapeutic options available to them. Um, They'd been through the standard therapies. And um, overall, excellent response rates in both arms of the studies with a good safety profile. Um, about a 40, roughly 40% 40 overall response rate in the aggressive arm, roughly a 60% overall response rate in the indolent arm. Um, and uh, in patients with complete response in both arms, you know, therapy was able to be discontinued. And three quarters of those patients at uh, I guess the aggressive arm about uh, 17 months and the inland arm 24 plus months have been able to remain off therapy without um, um, uh, you know, any additional treatment. Now, there were four patients who had recurrence of their disease and those patients uh, were retreated and three out of the four responded to retreatment and one of the four actually had a complete uh, response that's ongoing as well. So it's kind of exciting, a new agent which um, is capable of inducing remissions in patients beyond the standard of care. Even 30 patients on that trial had had prior CAR T cell therapy, which is sort of the uh, latest approach to this group of patients and, um, and, and represent a group of patients which um, have had everything, and yet we had a, a similar response rate in those patients as we had in patients that hadn't had prior CAR uh, prior card T cell therapy and no unforeseen safety concerns. CAR T cell therapy was the therapy that we used for patients with B cell malignancies as a last resort. This was five years ago um, and with regard to lymphomas and a little longer with regard to leukemias. And uh, uh, with regard to lymphomas, which are the diseases I treat in, in the study that I'm discussing, it, uh, we were able to save about a third of those patients with a CAR T cell approach. These were patients that in the past had no other options and would not have survived. And now we have five years of follow up on those patients and we know that we can save a third of them. So now we're looking at the other two thirds that we were not able to, to save and what can we do? Well, we, in that setting, in that group, we've tested most sunotuzumab and I think it will serve in part that population that still has an unmet need, even in the CAR T cell era. Oh, I see, you know, uh, um, a very bright future for this particular drug and an even brighter future for the patients that will be able to benefit from it. You know, this, I see combinations of this with CAR T cell therapy, sequences of this for patients that need immediate therapy because it's off the shelf uh, to be followed by CAR T cell therapy, or patients who are getting CAR T cell that are not responding that can be rescued by this agent, or doing them in sequence up front either way or both ways, you know, um, uh, because you can target more than one antigen this way without doing any fancy genetic manipulation of cells or anything like that. It's a very, uh, I mean, relatively speaking to the technologies that are in development nowadays, this is a relatively simple approach. Mm -hmm.